This week we're going to be focusing on breakfast. At the end of the week, we are going to have, wait for it. I'm waiting. A big morning in. I feel like it's time to mix up the brownie points. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, right. During the whole week, you can award brownie points whenever you want, for whatever you want. Let's do it. If you were going to go out for a cracking full English, yes, where might you go? It would be a greasy spoon, yeah, for, for a or treat, or a really fancy gourmet kind of brunch venue. That's not what full English is about, though, is it? Full no, English is about mass. What about if we tried to combine the two? Is that a toolbox, boys? <laughs> breakfast is served. Oh! Are you serious? I mean, I want to build his breakfast. So the theory behind this is one group of people, <laughs> the builders, construct, the hipsters deconstruct. And now everyone, regardless of what you do, where you live and where you eat, can enjoy a full English breakfast. Brownie point, God, now, in your mouth, take it. Oh, yes! What we also have is a <laughs> screwdriver. Again. Would you like to pass your glass, sir? We've got some special coffee here. This is mushroom coffee. That brownie point I gave you, <laughs> can I take that back? No, listen, <laughs> if anything, Ben deserves to give me a brownie point because I'm letting him live his dream of being a dinner lady. <laughs> <laughs> it's got two different types of mushrooms in it. These have neurotransmitting benefits. It's supposed to make you think quicker, your synapses fire quicker. It okay. tastes like coffee and then it tastes like mushrooms. Cheers, Cheers boys. boys. Welcome to breakfast. Thank you very much. You know what? There's the right level of sweetness in those beans. Because some German beans that I quite enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Do I think you're actually American? But I know. Yeah, sure, I went with the yeah. name. No. So there is a little bit of brown sugar in there, but the base flavours come from smoky pancetta, shallot, garlic, thyme, a little bit of chilli, and there's something else we slipped into. You can smell that brown sugar. It's really softened stuff and made it juicy. But what don't worry, doing? we're gonna. <laughs> we have ourselves some anchovies. Now, fear not. This is not gonna make it fishy. I just know. delicious. Umami. Think of it like Worcestershire sauce on your baked beans. A little bit of this chopped up with the tomatoes, chicken stock, and our pinto beans. So rather than haricot beans, you get for baked yep. beans. All in. It gives it a roundness and balances out with the smoky sweetness already in the pan. Toast. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> done. <laughs> How do you like your toast? <laughs> done. I think I like it bit. done. No! <laughs> Probably a little bit more than that. I recognise these eggs, do I? You've had these before. These are our sorted, levelled up <laughs> scrambled eggs. Levelled up scrambled eggs. Very simple. Eight eggs between four of us. Cooked in foaming butter. Not too much movement, so you get big chunks of egg. And then it's finished right at the end. Creme fraiche, salt and pepper. They are very buttery. They're good, aren't they? There, there was a lot of foamy butter at the beginning. Simple but effective. We've got a little bit of Ben's special sauce that you haven't tried yet. Because I'm surprised you didn't pick up on it, because you're a bit like me, Barry. You love mushroom. So mushroom this... ketchup. Mushroom what? mayo. We're not going to do with these what you would expect. Or in fact, what they expect either. We're going to chop them up and fry them off until they get lots and lots of colour. So don't move them in the pan. And then we're going to add dried porcini, which we would have steeped in boiling water. So this is lots and lots of mushroom umaminess. Mushroom mayo is super simple. We're going to blitz up all of those mushrooms with the garlic and the porcini to a very smooth puree, and then fold it into homemade mayonnaise. That's egg yolks, mustard, and then dribble in a little bit of groundnut oil as you go. Don't want to do too much, otherwise it's going to ruin it and it's going to split. But also, the good thing about groundnut oil is it doesn't flavour the mayonnaise too much. It's really unusual. Really unusual. It doesn't yeah. taste of mayo until the end. Yeah, that's, yeah, you get that aftertaste. Yeah. It's like, ooh, whoa, I think I like it now. I'm going to preempt what I'm about to say by saying that I'm guessing that you didn't make the sausage, but it is a great oh. sausage. When it comes to the meat, we've not done anything to any of it. We've just grilled it. So Cumberland sausages, beautifully spiced, obviously from Cumbria, but they tend to be served in a ring. So, <laughs> stop playing with your food. We want to make these super circular, so we're actually going to reshape them slightly and then skewer them. My Anna Cumberland don't. My Anna Cumberland won't. My Anna Cumberland won't. I feel like, I feel like it's like you want a um, snake charm. Did you bring your fez? <laughs> 
two ringed sausages are gonna go onto a tray lined with tin foil and under the grill for about a 10 minute head start. We're gonna turn them halfway through before we also add on our bacon, our black pudding, cut into slices, and our halved tomatoes. So me and Ebbers were talking uh, about a range of breakfast related topics. Breakfast in bed, how do you feel about it? Um, crummy. Toast in bed just, just does not work because crumbs. I don't actually like breakfast in bed, but I like coming down to breakfast ready. Like, Why don't you like breakfast in bed? Bloody crumbs. Oh yeah, no. I'm right behind that. You can toast crumbs, you find them in your bum crack for weeks afterwards. No! What? You don't, it's just wrong. What do you mean? It's at the table, it's much nicer. Yeah, that's what I mean. I'm agreeing with you. Oh, I thought you said you like the idea of toast I crumbs I like in having toast... Well, that's why I was confused. That's why I was like, no. Use your ears. <laughs> Who likes having toast crumbs in their... Like, bend over, use me as a toast rack. <laughs> like, oh, please, that would be the ideal birthday present. Rachel asks, what's the weirdest thing you've ever Googled? Well, only a matter of weeks ago, I put something into my Google search oh. that I <laughs> <laughs> instantly regretted. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded a lot worse than I think you meant, but please do continue. It was, can you milk a pig? I wasn't entirely sure. I wanted to check. <laughs> Turns out you can. Were there videos? <laughs> <laughs> so end of the week. Now is the time that we need to pull all the resources together and think about everything that's happened and distribute brownie points as we see fit. Okay, I'm gonna go. Uh, one for you. Shakshuka. One for you, Shakshuka. You made me lol. So I'm gonna give a brownie point each. I think when it comes to full English, there's lots of components and everyone knows what a great full English is, so it's all very well preparing it, but taking it with this theming, the whole deconstruction, construction, hipster, greasy spoon thing, toolbox and bottomless brunch, Mike has taken the full English a level up. One to Mike uh, for the toolbox. And I'm going to double it. Yeah, I like. I can tell there was your. You googled and spent a lot of time with Amazon, so therefore <laughs> <laughs> your creative Doubles, juices were flowing. Two oh. points, and I'm going to leave it there. I think I am going to give one for the toolbox arrangement. So I thought that was that was great to Mike, uh, and also I thought the food, each individual component, was extraordinary. So one to Ben. So what does actually what's the overall leaderboard now looking like then? It looks like this. And I've gone from losing a couple of weeks ago to doing all right. Guys, top notch. That was. Great way to start or end the day. Breakfast. <laughs> Whatever time it is, I don't know. Who knows? One thing we do know is that we're back tomorrow and this is all going to be done in the fridge. So shut up, you. I really enjoyed that week. I expected to like breakfast week, but I liked it more than I expected to. Yeah, it was great. If you liked it, why don't you give this video a like? That would really be great. It would be a way for you to show your appreciation. Also, go and look at all the other videos that we made this week, all around the breakfast theme. If you like those as well, wait, give those a like while you're at it. <laughs> that would be wonderful. And if you want any of the recipes from any of the videos that we've cooked this week, then all the links are downstairs. Yes, uh, we are drawing to a close now. This is it. But hang on, tomorrow we start a whole brand new theme with a whole brand new mystery box. Ah, what? We actually started today on sortedfood.com, so if you go over there now, you'll be able to find out what next week's theme is. Holy moly. I know. I don't know how I'm going to deal with that. Well, well, whilst you deal with that, I'm going to close the fridge door. Have a fantastic day. Have a great weekend. Have a great week. Have a great life. We will see you soon. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Click on the left if you missed our last video, or click on the right video for one of our favourites.